We have some animals to show you, both large and small. The seven-year-old Holstein Friesian stands more than six feet tall, is said to be the tallest bovine in all of Australia. This news assistants captured this video of a huge bear. Because I was here and he was crossing the street. This is obviously a liger, which is the largest. This is one of the largest ligers in the world, if not the largest. Myrtle. Nature's wonders come in all sizes. But today, we're focusing on the larger end of the scale. Meet animals that tip the scales in a big way. Their stories are as intriguing as their impressive dimensions. This is Cookie the Monster Toad. She's actually four pounds and about 10 inches in length. Either this toad is holding in a nasty croak, or it's been sneaking in food without the owner's notice. This is Cookie. She's a cane toad tipping the scales at a whopping four pounds and stretching to about 10 inches. This is insane compared to regular totes, which are only an ounce and some inches big. Well, despite what her name suggests, Cookie likes to eat crickets and, uh, well, smaller toes, taking you are what you eat a little too seriously. But how did Cookie get this big? Well, she gets her athletic build from her parents, and the rest is all due to her owners letting her roam around the backyard, munching on smaller critters. Cookie actually is a poisonous cane toad with poison glands on the back of the neck. Ringmaster's Dilemma. At the Vladivostok Circus in Russia, a tiger has caught everyone's attention. And it's not for his acrobatics. This tiger has grown significantly larger than his wild counterparts. This tiger isn't just big, it's like he's been hitting the all-you-can-eat buffet a bit too hard. The Ringmaster attributes this to aging, but it raises important questions about the lifestyle of animals in captivity. In their natural habitat, tigers roam vast territories, hunt, and maintain a balanced diet. However, in a circus setting, their movement is restricted, and their diet might not match the wild's nutritional balance. Ensuring that animals in captivity receive adequate exercise and nutrition is vital. Well, honestly, circuses are getting really old. Don't you think this is just another reason to finally give up on circus performances? Titanic Tusker at a zoo, there's a walrus who's become quite the star, and it's easy to see why. He's a mammoth of a walrus, double the size of his peers. Visitors can't help but be in awe of his sheer magnitude. And his tusks, oh, they're not just long. They're like two natural wonders curving from his mouth. According to zookeepers, this tusker never slept on an empty stomach. And we all know animal or human overeating can lead to some serious issues. Normally, walruses are quite big boned, but I'm not sure if weight like that would be comfortable with being this huge. Let's hope this fella's doing just fine. Perfectly plump. Garfield is definitely the biggest cat I've ever seen. Just like his namesake in cartoons, this real life Garfield also struggles with weight. After being taken in by an Animal League sanctuary, Garfield's serious situation was made public he weighed a massive 38 pounds, far from a healthy weight for a cat. I'm putting him on a very strict diet, and we are following that diet very, very precisely. The team at the Animal League knew they had to act. They put Garfield on a carefully planned diet, aiming to help him lose 15 to 20 pounds. It was a journey not just to slim down, but to rediscover health. Garfield's story has a happy turn. He's lost a considerable amount of weight and found a new home where his health is the top priority. Pudgy Pup. A bulgy beagle that weighed an incredible 86 pounds. He was barely able to walk. Sometimes pet owners' enthusiasm can tip the scales a bit too far, as was the case with Kale Chips, a beagle who found himself significantly overweight. At 86 pounds, he was carrying an extra 50 pounds, landing him in animal control in need of rescue. I brought him to the vet, I was expecting the worst. Diabetes, maybe kidney failure. Kale Chips' situation was the result of extra feeding by his previous owner. While the intent might not have been harmful, the consequences for Kale Chips were serious. His weight severely impacted his mobility and overall health. At one point, Kale Chips even stopped getting up for food and would demand treats right from his bed. But Kale Chips' story took a positive turn. In the nine months following his rescue, he underwent a remarkable transformation, shedding 40 pounds. This weight loss journey was carefully managed through diet and exercise, 
tailored to his needs. He's doing really well. His favorite activity is chasing squirrels. It's oh, perfect for like exercise. That. Monkey Mount. This is why many zoos prohibit visitors from feeding the animals. Dubbed Uncle Fat, this Thai monkey was frequently being handed snacks of all sorts by tourists. Eventually, Uncle Fat got so used to eating snacks, the monkey would wait for visitors to arrive so he could eat whatever he could get his hands on. Fortunately, this didn't pan out too well because the monkey ended up gaining a lot of weight and developed a large fat mass that hindered his movements. Seeing his plight, rescuers intervened. They put him on a strict regime to address his critical condition. He's now getting better. But this shows us how feeding wildlife, especially with inappropriate food, can lead to serious health problems. Heavyweight Champion Here's something you can't miss. One of many Siberian tigers in a Chinese zoo, known for their lean muscle and quick reflexes, is looking, well, let's say more cuddly than usual. It's not just a little extra winter padding, like most onlookers believed. This weight gain is attributed to overfeeding by park staff. And although you'd think it is a good thing, it's quite concerning. Excessive weight in tigers can lead to joint issues, reduced mobility, and other health complications, impacting their overall quality of life. Tigers naturally maintain a lean, muscular build in the wild, where regular hunting promotes fitness and health. When park management came under fire, they simply responded that the extra fat keeps them warm in the winter. They also said they'd help the tigers lose weight when it finally stops snowing. Let's just hope they stick to their promise. Monster Moo. This enormous steer named Nickers is said to be the tallest bovine in all of Australia. At a towering six feet, four inches, and weighing a whopping 1,400 kilograms, He's not just the big guy on campus, he's practically the campus! Meet Nickers, a steer that's not just big, he's like the skyscraper of the cow world. In the wild, or in more natural settings, cows roam and graze over large areas, maintaining a healthy size through regular exercise and a natural diet. But Nickers' size goes way beyond what's typical, even for his breed. His size isn't just for show. His near-record-breaking stature meant he was too large for the slaughterhouse, giving him an unexpected lease on life. His owners don't know how the steer has gotten big. They assume he's holding onto some lucky genes, or might have a hormonal issue. Or he might have taken the phrase hitting the hay a little too literally. No matter what, this steer has become an internet sensation, and we're all loving it. Nicker's size has made him quite the local celebrity recently. So now he and his fans can enjoy his newfound fame. Tower of Ivory. They say size doesn't matter, but when it comes to Rahman, India's tallest elephant, it's hard not to be impressed. Standing at a whopping 321.5 centimeters, Rahman makes other elephants look like they're tiny. And that's a big feat. Naturally, his imposing stature has made him quite the celebrity. Elephants are a sacred symbol in Hindu and Buddhist religions, and with one as huge as Rahman, it's quite understandable why this elephant's taking the throne. Since 2011, Rahman has taken center stage in a meaningful Indian tradition, the Thrissur Puram Festival. It's a jaw-dropping spectacle that marks the commencement of this cherished celebration. Of course, that doesn't mean Rahman is easy to deal with. Even his handlers are scared of him sometimes, because his size makes them an easy target. Luckily, Rahman's quite calm, or else they'd all be trampled. <laughs> Crocka Trouble In Indonesia, a family has an unusual pet that's turning heads. Meet Kojik, a 200-kilogram crocodile with a big appetite for goldfish. Every day, he chomps down five kilograms of them at least double the amount other crocs eat. Back in 1997, Muhammad Iwan saw kids playing with a newborn abandoned crocodile. Caught by fishermen at a beach, this little croc caught Iwan's eyes, and he decided to buy him for a mere $2. 
Waktu dapat baru-baru dapat itu ya dari anak itu saya bayarin. Fast forward over two decades and Kojak's love for fish has seen him grow into a hefty frame. His size and unique status as a family pet have made him famous. People even travel just to catch a glimpse of this gentle giant in a domestic setting. Of course, owning a croc isn't the easiest. Kojak's growing hunger is a concern for even his owners, who know they're a switch away from being a meal. But Kojak wouldn't survive in the wild, so he'll stay with the family as long as he lives. Terkenal boy itu ganas sekali. Itu yang paling spesial dan bisa jinak. Blubber Bonanza. Dylan was subjected to constant gunfire from a shooting range only 200 feet away. In 2019, Dylan the Bear caught people's eyes. Sitting behind bars in a cramped cage in Milmont's Union County Sportsman's Club, Dylan wasn't only distressed, he was also quite overweight, at least twice the width of a normal Asiatic black bear. Dylan's case almost immediately went viral, with none other than PETA stepping in and asking the club to let Dylan go. Even celebrities like Alec Baldwin spoke for Dylan, and the bear was finally relocated to a safe sanctuary. But Dylan's troubles were far from over. When Dylan first arrived at the sanctuary, he was facing serious health challenges, particularly with his weight. He had been struggling, carrying extra pounds that were not natural for his species. This was a bear in need of help, and fast. The sanctuary team sprang into action, providing Dylan with much needed dental care to address infections and pain. With a special diet and proper care, Dylan began to shed the excess weight. He's since lost an impressive 200 pounds and is happier than ever. Sumo Simeon. Living on a diet of jelly beans and marshmallows, a tubby orangutan called Oshin is being forced to change her ways. In the world of orangutans, there's one who's had quite a journey. Meet Oshine, Britain's heftiest orangutan, with a backstory as unique as her size. As a baby, she lived briefly in an Indonesian safari park before moving to South Africa with Brenda, who raised her more like a child than an orangutan. Brenda's well-meaning care, however, led Oshine down a path of unhealthy habits. Dressed in clothes and fed sweets and processed foods, Oshine developed a weight issue. As she grew into adolescence, her size made it challenging for Brenda to keep her at home, leading to Oshine having her own enclosure. Recognizing the need for a change, Brenda reached out to Alison Cronin, director of Monkey World, who welcomed Oshine. Now in a sanctuary setting, the focus is on managing her weight. Since then, Oshine has stayed a little away from the public to prevent overfeeding and is inspiring countless gym goers. Once they get her weight down and get rid of that belly, she'll be introduced to a potential mate and it's hoped start a family. Chubster winner. Otis, the bear from Katmai National Park is a real crowd pleaser, especially when it comes to the park's Fat Bear Week competition. He's won it four times, showing just how good he is at getting ready for winter. Thousands of viewers like to tune in on Katmai's live bear stream to spot Otis. And it isn't the toughest task since this one can be spotted from afar, clearly towering over others. Otis has a big build, but it's not just for show. For bears like him, putting on weight is key for getting through the winter. During hibernation, they don't eat, so they need all that extra fat to keep them going. And Otis, he likes to eat a lot. In fact, he even ate 42 salmon in one day. That's a lot, even for bear standards. Hmm, eat, sleep, repeat? <laughs> now I know what my spirit animal is. Nautical Napper. A walrus called Freya that had become a really popular attraction in the Oslo Fjord has been put down out of concern for the safety of the public. Freya the walrus became somewhat of a celebrity for her unusual habit. She loved sunbathing, but not just anywhere. Her favorite spots were on boats. The only problem, her hefty 1,300 pound frame wasn't exactly boat friendly, and she ended up sinking some of them. Weighing 1,300 pounds, sometimes even sinking them. Freya was reportedly heavier than other female walruses, and it might have something to do with the fish she kept sneaking from the boats. Despite being a star, Freya's story has a serious side. People fascinated by her often ignored warnings to keep their distance. This put both Freya and the onlookers at risk, as getting too close to a wild animal, especially one of Freya's size, can be dangerous. 
Sadly, the situation reached a point where authorities decided that Freya had to be put down. Her interactions with people and boats were becoming just too risky. Walruses are a protected species. Was putting her down really the only option? Tiny Titan. Uh, guys, I don't think ants are supposed to get this big. Seriously, it almost looks like this ant is eating all the colony's food. This is actually a small colony of leafcutter ants. They're quite a fascinating species, known for their remarkable ability to cut and transport leaves, which they use to cultivate fungus in their nests. The abomination we're seeing here is a leafcutter queen. She's clearly significantly larger than the worker ants, and can grow up to three centimeters. As disturbing as it looks, the queen's larger size helps her store energy and produce a large number of eggs. Well, even after finding this out, I'm not comfortable with ants anymore. Mighty Grazer. A bull that big? No wonder the cows are all mooing after him. I know this bull looks normal in comparison, but he's much sturdier and stronger than the rest of his breed. It's not unusual for bulls to be bulky, but this one's clearly taking more than his fair share. It's possible this bull had parents larger than average, so he simply grew up big boned. It's also possible the diet and overall environment gave him a healthier boost, pushing him to the top of the cattle. Either way, it's pretty clear why he's the king of the field. Hungry Leviathan. What's scarier than a crocodile farm? A crocodile that big! If you want to make an easier comparison, the rest of the crocs are not babies. They're clearly grown, or close to it, and this one is obviously fighting for all the meat. Just the way this crocodile's heading back to the pool, I'm sure every croc there will happily give up its seat. While most crocodiles grow up to five or even six meters, this youngster is heading for an even higher number. It can happen in the wild. But surprisingly, heavier built crocs are even more common in captivity because they don't have to actively hunt food and won't mind chowing down tons of chicken without lifting a finger. Bearish Behemoth. Holly, a bear from Katmai National Park, really stands out because of her size. She's not just big, she won the 2019 Fat Bear Week, showing she's one of the chunkiest there. Her size is all about survival, especially important for female bears like her. Having enough fat is key for bears. It's not just to get through the long winter during hibernation, but also to maybe have and look after cubs while they're in their dens. Holly's size shows she's good at finding food and saving up energy. This is really important for bears to live well in the wild. Being a bit on the heavier side is actually a good thing for female bears. It means they're ready for whatever comes next. Hound of Girth. This is Freddy, the world's tallest dog, and this is Blur, his sister. You take a look at this giant Great Dane, and you'd never believe he was once the runt of the litter. Freddy was so small that his owner, Claire Stoneman, had to bring him home earlier than usual as he struggled to feed from his mother. Puppy was the runt of the litter. I actually got him a couple of weeks early than I should have done because he wasn't feeding off mum. But Freddy didn't stay small for long. He grew rapidly, reaching a towering height of 3 feet 4.75 inches at the withers, and an even more impressive 7 feet 5.5 inches when standing on his hind legs. Freddy alone, I probably spend a good 80, 90 pounds a week on, on the food. This extraordinary growth earned him a spot in the Guinness World Records in 2016. In 2020, Freddie achieved another milestone, becoming the oldest living Great Dane at eight years old. This was a significant achievement for a breed not known for its longevity. Freddie's growth and health over the years defied the odds, marking him as a unique and exceptional member of his breed. Foxy Chunkster. In Finland, a significant number of Arctic foxes, also known as blue foxes, have been given a chance at a new life. These foxes, once confined to restrictive environments in fur farms, are now experiencing a turn in their fortunes. In their previous conditions, they were fed to reach sizes almost five times larger than their wild relatives, a practice driven by the fur industry's demand for larger pelts. 
thankfully, many of these foxes have been rescued and are now in the care of organizations dedicated to their well-being. These rescue efforts focus on providing a more natural and healthy lifestyle for the foxes. Buffalo. This buffalo is massive, the kind of massive that makes you do a double take. It's like he's been lifting weights or something. That or he's been overdosing on protein powder. Believe it or not, the man holding him isn't that short either. He's easily well over 5'7", which gives us a good idea about the bull's true stature. Well, as unique as it looks, this size isn't all that unexpected. This is a Jafara body bull, and it's renowned for its substantial size. But this one is tipping the scales. And here's the kicker. This isn't the only giant the owner has. Here's a Holstein Frisian bull that became the biggest in Bangladesh in 2023. It seems like his owner has a whole lineup of these oversized stars. Adult Holsteins typically weigh 900 to 1100 kilograms, but this one is close to 1300. Now that's a big boy. And as for the owner, well, they've clearly got a knack for raising big animals. Rotund Roamer. Bambi certainly put on a lot of weight since we last saw him. You're probably wondering how a deer got into that position. Well, this deer came across a local bobcat, and although it survived, it did not escape unscathed. The deer's injury made it impossible for the deer to roam around freely. So for the first few months of its recovery, the deer simply lounged around on the ground and ate anything visitors handed. Of course, this only caused the deer to put on a few extra pounds. Once authorities noticed, they prohibited passersby from handing out food. This is because the deer was becoming used to the help, and if it continued for any longer, returning to the wild wouldn't have been possible. Don't worry though, the deer has since gotten better and only occasionally sneaks in food. Plump Nut Hoarder This furry daredevil found himself in a rather unexpected pickle. This northern flying squirrel had a grand idea to explore the mysteries of the bird feeder. Except the squirrel clearly miscalculated its dimensions and ended up getting stuck with the owner of the bird feeder seeing it in all its humility. Feeding squirrels might seem like a harmless backyard activity, but it can actually be quite dangerous for these critters. This excess weight can lead to health problems, including diabetes. So while we might enjoy watching those acrobatic squirrels, it's essential to limit their access to bird feeders to keep them healthy and safe. Fluffer Glider. This fluffy little furball is Mr. Moe. Unlike his sleek and slender peers, Mr. Moe was twice the weight of a typical sugar glider, which made him stand out among his treetop companions. He weighed twice that of a normal sugar glider, and although he looked adorable, such a weight was quite concerning. His condition was no accident. Mr. Moe was quite the avid foodie, and his owner simply couldn't say no until she approached an expert to help Mr. Moe lose weight. So why is Mr. Moe's journey significant? In the world of sugar gliders, where a lightweight body is crucial for gliding seamlessly through the treetops, Mr. Moe's extra weight prevented him from demonstrating his gymnastic abilities. If he continued overeating, he may have lost the ability to climb and zoom through the air completely. Luckily, this sugar glider has since lost a lot of weight, and now his owner knows exactly how to handle his demands. Fluffball. That's the plumpest pigeon I've ever seen. Even New York's pigeons can't be this big. This is the white fan-tailed pigeon. It stands out from the crowd not because of a snowy plumage, but its dimensions. While its companions gracefully take to the skies, this pigeon opts for a more grounded lifestyle. White fan-tailed pigeons occasionally get quite big, but this one's leaving all the others kicking in the dust. Well, I can certainly say this is one well-fed pigeon. At least we won't have to worry about the pigeon not getting enough food. Gym Rat. Check out Mr. I hang out at the gym 24 seven here. Seriously, this moose's antlers could double as a coat rack for the entire animal kingdom. Other moose must be thinking, why did we skip leg day? Adult moose typically weigh between 800 to 1500 pounds, but this one easily leaves them all behind. I bet it doesn't even need to fight the other moose for domination, they simply bow down to him. In the world of moose, this one's the heavyweight champ, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the forest. And while it may just be a moose, it's definitely hitting the buffet. 
But hey, when you're this jacked, who's gonna argue? Thunder Cub. Talk about an apex predator? Well, what do you know? This ferocious beast has an adorable flaw. It's scared of thunder. Hey, we've all been there, buddy. Don't worry. But who would have thought a bear that spent all its life in the wild would be scared of thunder? Well, bears rely heavily on their acute hearing for survival and the loud rumblings of thunder might be overwhelming or disorienting. They may not understand where the sound is coming from, which only worsens the situation for them. This one thinks he's still a little cub who needs to run fast if anything scary pops up. I just want to cuddle him and let him know it'll be all right. It'll be the best last 20 seconds of my life. Plump Bandit. Face yourself out. Somebody has clearly never missed dumpster diving day. Check out Savvy and Mo, two raccoons who are struggling to get over their literal trash addiction. The duo weigh easily over 30 pounds. And yes, you're absolutely right to think they're a tad bit overweight. In fact, the average raccoon doesn't weigh an ounce over 20 pounds. But Savvy and Mo are clearly out of bounds. Don't worry, the duo were rescued by a woman who took them to the vet and had them vaccinated and then brought them to her backyard sanctuary. There, Savvy and Mo were going through a rigorous workout regimen. The two play around the DIY obstacles and are on a strict no-junk diet until they lose that extra fat and get back on track. <laughs> well, I never thought a raccoon would have a better grasp on lifestyle than me. Look at you go! Tubby Nocturne. But unfortunately, she is a great example of why we tell people to leave wildlife alone. At 16 pounds, Piper the possum was in a tricky spot. Usually, possums tip the scales at much less, but Piper's upbringing by humans drove her off the natural path. Instead of munching on fruits, insects, and small animals, Piper's diet leaned heavily on human food. This mismatch in diet led to a significant increase in her weight, about a few pounds more than normal, and it was only increasing. This weight gain wasn't just a number issue, it brought along health challenges typical in overweight animals. Mobility difficulties and stress on her little body were just the tip of the iceberg. She has been eating human food non-stop from Little Debbie's to Pound Cake. Acknowledging the problem, her human companions reached out to a veterinarian for help. This vet, experienced in wildlife, understood the gravity of the situation. A specialized diet plan was crafted focusing on bringing Piper's weight down safely and steadily. It's a slow process, involving careful monitoring and adjustments to her diet. But Piper is on the right track, gradually losing weight and moving towards a healthier lifestyle. Bulging Billy. Sherdill stands out in the world of goats with an extraordinary weight of 314 kilograms, far surpassing the norm. At just three and a half years old, his weight is more akin to a small car than a typical goat, which usually weighs around 45 to 70 kilograms. Nestled in Gujranwala, the city renowned for its wrestlers, Sherdil's home is a pen fit for a king, complete with two room coolers to keep the heat at bay. His diet? Well, it's as grand as his weight, a lavish spread of dry fruits, dairy products, and a touch of vegetable oil. To handle his majestic needs, Sherdil has a team of four grooms, ensuring every aspect of his care is top-notch. And here's the best part. Sherdil was supposed to be sacrificed for meat, and although his demand was clearly high, Sherdil's owner had a change of heart and decided to keep the goat. Now that's a win-win situation for a king like Sherdil. Blubberball. Check out this exceptionally round seal, a bundle of blubber and charm. This seal, with its comically plump body, looks like a bean bag, but alive, with flippers and the cutest whiskered face. Most seals are sleek, streamlined swimmers. But this one? Yeah, it might have been depriving the other seals of a fair share of fish for a while. And while it's a joy to watch, this level of roundness is quite rare and not typically a sign of optimal health in seals. Seals are naturally built for agile swimming and hunting, with a body shape that supports their aquatic lifestyle. But this one's struggle to get out of the pool is clearly telling a lot. 
Let's hope he gets back in shape by the time he's released into the wild. Deep in the heart of a North Australian rainforest, wildlife officers stumbled upon a truly jaw-dropping sight. Meet Toadzilla, a cane toad of epic proportions. This behemoth tipped the scales at a massive 2.7 kilograms, dwarfing the average cane toad sixfold. Imagine a football with legs. That's how park ranger Kylie Gray described this chunky amphibian. Cane toads have been hopping around Australia since 1935 growing in numbers to a troublesome extent. With no natural predators and a poisonous nature, they pose a real threat to local wildlife. Sadly, this is why Toadzilla had to be put down. But hey, at least we'll always know about its legacy.